Oh, okay. yes. Thank Great. you, Susanna, for, for the presentation. Also, uh, thank you all, all the attendees just to, to have time to, to be here. Uh, this is one of our, our events that we want to, to organize just to uh, present well, what is going on in this project in SVD for Nano. As you know, uh, SVD for Nano is a project that is, is related with the big framework of the save by design. In this case, other projects are, at the moment are also dealing with the sustainability, but our project was uh, more focused on the on the safety part of, of this kind of, of content. So I will try in this in this time that I have here in, in this webinar uh, to present our project, you know, the, an overview of where we are at the moment. Or of course, we are approaching to the end of the project, so we will have today the opportunity of having you know a big picture of uh, the, the big outcome from from the project. Also, we, we have here uh, uh, work package leaders that will present you uh, an overview of the main results. I hope that you enjoy uh, during this time. And of course, we will be open to any question. And uh, also, you're welcome to, to participate in, in other webinars that we will organize in, in the project. And also in, in March, also we have a big event in, in Austria. Uh, where you will have the opportunity to also see more about our projects. So next, please, uh, Stella. So uh, the motivation of the project, so that's very important because uh, you know that uh, SBD for Nano is, is related uh, with the Save by Design. In this case, uh, the, you can see that, that the title of the project uh, starts with the word Computing Infrastructure. So that means that our main outcome here is a kind of a big a tool, in, in this case, a, a software tool that is developed just for the needs of the industry. So that's very relevant. So we are focusing on defining different solutions for the industry. Uh, HNE is the, is the project coordinator. As I said before, uh, we are approaching to the end of, of the project, uh, scheduled in March uh, 2024. Uh, we have a lot of uh, of partners here in in this project, up to 23 partners. But uh, it's more the most relevant thing is that we we have up to nine uh, companies, small and medium enterprises, but, but also uh, large companies. And as I said, our main objective is to develop uh, a new infrastructure in terms of software and and tools uh, that are oriented just to, to support companies on the definition of, of new materials and safer products and also safer processes. Uh, you can see in, in the screen that we have uh, different well-known organizations around the nano safety area, like BioNanoNet or Jordas, uh, TNEO, also the Maastricht University, and also a lot of companies that we, that we have here, of course, Sunum, as a Turkish company, uh, to developing a lot of activities in, in toxic oil. So, so next, please. So in, in this case, uh, as, I, as I said before, we have a big motivation that uh, support companies on developing safer materials and safer processes. So we know that there is a, a big lack of knowledge uh, related with uh, how to deal with this content. So there are a lot of barriers to support the implementation of the safe by design concept. So for one side, uh, there is a lack of knowledge uh, considering the toxicological properties. Also, there is a, a big lack of knowledge uh, related uh, with the potential exposure to nanomaterials in, in the workplaces. But also there is a, a lack, of, lack of data or tools uh, related with uh, the implementation of the code. So there is a few limited tools uh, like detection support system or risk assessment tools that are really focused on helping or supporting the industries on organizing the data uh, to implement this content. So next, please. So in terms of, of these barriers, so our project is, is really uh, focused on, on trying to overcome these barriers. So we have barriers related with uh, the lack of knowledge, as I say, related with the toxicology, how we, we can analyze the toxicology of a material if we don't have a real access to the data. Of course, uh, we need to uh, come up with solutions that are 
safer but also functional so there is also a lack of resources and to analyze how uh, the functionality for example is being uh, modified by introducing for example new surface modifiers on the on the surface so that's also critical we can develop safer products but always this kind of product has to be functional also there are uh, some guidance at the moment from the european commission for example but there are some you know limitations related with the applicability of the guidelines to the to the real companies you know the small company that is dealing with the material so there is a barrier related with the lack of this kind of guidelines so in, in our project we are going to develop or we are developing this kind of guidelines also regulation so we need to inform regulators about uh, potential uh, outcome from our case studies and we can support regulators on defining good policies uh, regarding same by chain and also it's important in the product value chain a big communication so we have to to support communication between the you know the raw material producer you know the people that is producing the nanomaterials and the ones that they are that are using nanomaterials for example paint formulators or manufacturers of plastic material so uh, we need to support and, and make more dynamic this communication and that's one of the key objectives of, of the project so don't mix, make these things happen in the in the project so all these barriers are for SMEs but also for for large companies and are very relevant so our project is more or less focused on trying to overcome this kind of barriers so next please so in in this case uh, how we we did with that so our objective is to support uh, all these barriers by developing solutions so and these solutions at the end are um, software tools databases modeling but also uh, experience from, from case studies and we have compiled all these kind of solutions in a kind of big structure and the name of the structure is the e infrastructure that i will present you know only an overview and my colleagues from thinkworks they will present you know the whole uh, picture of the tool and how the tool can support you in overcoming all these barriers so next please you will see here uh, you know a first uh, a presentation of, of this uh, infrastructure at the end the, the concept of the project was of course and uh, develop this kind of tool but we, we were always thinking in, in four main pillars for one side support companies on calculating the severity in terms of hazard uh, also uh, we need to support the company on uh, a better knowledge of the potential exposure of a process dealing with nanomaterials so that's the second pillar in the sports always uh, we have and the third pillar that is the cost you know which is the cost of implementing for example modifications in the in the company to reduce the sports or which is the cost of reducing the potential uh, toxicity of a material or just modify the material or substitute the material for for other and finally the the, the fourth pillar is the performance the functionality so in our project, uh, we merge all together. You know, we have the stability, the exposure, the cost, and the functionality, the product performance, uh, to come up with an index. Is the SVD index that will support the company or identifying uh, proper solutions uh, to support, you know, the development of these safer processes and safer product, but always considering cost and functionality. So that's very important. Next, please. You will see here a uh, uh, first picture of our infrastructure. Our infrastructure is based on, on three main parts. You can see that uh, we have uh, what we say SVD scenario assessment. So that's the real uh, tool that uh, was, uh, Ralph from Thingworks uh, will present you. This is the tool that is uh, based in, in different kind of data and we support the companies on selecting proper approaches and to reduce uh, the toxicity or to reduce the exposure but also uh, identify the impact on the functionality so that's very important that's, that, that's clear and that's very important for us in the in the project also we have uh, svd resources and these svd resources include for example uh, a list of different tools so we have a kind of inventory of different tools guidelines uh, literature that is there that is always important for for the companies 
Also, we have an instance for the inner mapper database, so we can uh, extract data from the inner mapper. So that's also important in terms of toxicology. Also, we have the Athena. Athena is a kind of a tool that is developed by the ULP University in Tarragona, and, and come up. It's important because the tool uh, is intended to retrieve information from literature with data mining approaches. So you will have uh, a lot of data from the scientific literature on potential SVD approaches and information for implement the SVD approach. Also, we have a tool related with the regulatory requirements. It's a tool developed by Gene and support you for identifying regulatory requirements for your specific products. And also we have a connection with the Tini of Diamonds platform where you will find different kind of tools like, like for example, tools like the Nanosposure Quantifier to compare the posture in different processes. That's very important to design uh, safer processes. That's very key, for example, for us in our in the project. So next, please. So, uh, but always, you know, uh, we need to validate. So in, in our case, uh, you know, you will have this big infrastructure, but also uh, we need to validate all the outcome from the project. So to the same, we have uh, up to eight case studies that are very important for us in our, in our project. And we want to validate, for example, the, the hazard profiling of our project. Also the modeling framework related with the, with the exposure, also, we have been working a lot with the companies in terms of the cost benefit. So we have been trying to know the potential cost of implementing uh, this kind of uh, approaches, like modifying, for example, a product or modifying something in the in the processes that is intended to reduce the exposure. So that's that's very key. So in the next slide, uh, you will see uh, more details on on the potential case studies. So next, please. So here you can see our um, core, you know, this is our, our core in our, in our project. So we have different companies, of course, these companies are producing uh, different kind of materials, for example, graphene oxide or uh, titanium dioxide or, or thin oxide. All these companies are producing these products because these products have an application and this application is based on the market. So, you know, the market is demanding uh, products that contains nanomaterials and now you know implementing the safe by design concept also the market and the European policies are demanding safer products but always uh, considering the safety of workers so the companies uh, uh, you know they know that it's important uh, to reduce uh, several issues related with the, with the toxicology and we start working with the companies to, to try to reduce some of these issues in the next slide, please, uh, you will see uh, more details on some of the case studies. For example, Ambrosia Lab, that is a company uh, working uh, for the cosmetic industry. So they have uh, titanium dioxide and, and thin oxide. And in our project, we have been working in, in different properties, uh, modifying, for example, the structure of the materials by soon. And at the end, we, we find uh, safer products, you know, with less toxicity. So in the next slide, please. Also, we have Creative Nano, it's an agri company also producing titanium dioxide. Also, they have been working with us in the project for in two areas. Uh, we have been developing uh, new paints that are safer by design. So we, at the end, we, we define some modifications of the structure to reduce the toxicity, but also the dustiness. So that's also very important because we reduce the exposure in, in the workplaces. So next, please. In the case of Avanzale, they are producing uh, graphene oxide materials, and we also uh, find a way to, to reduce the toxicity of several materials that they are producing. But also, we have implemented several uh, strategies to reduce the potential exposure in workplaces. So, that's also very important because they have not lost any functionality at the end in the, in the final product. The next, please. So considering applied nano, you know, also they are producing uh, graphene oxide, but in this case for medical application, for drug delivery and, and biomedical application. And also we, we find a way to, to reduce uh, the potential exposure and during the production of this kind of, of materials. And of course, we make more and biocompatible the material using different kind of surface modifiers. That was very important also in the life of the project. So next, please. 
So in the case of group Antolin, they are producing materia for uh, the automotive industry. And they, they were also worried about the potential exposure. And also when we find and the way to reduce the exposure in the workplace by introducing uh, new approaches to control the, the exposure. And of course, also with Mustafa, with Sunum, uh, we find also modifiers to reduce toxicity. That's also very, very key in the life of the project. So next, please. In the case of Axon, also they are a company producing different kind of materials, in this case, more metal or passive material for also biomedical application. And, and we test a lot of uh, properties of, of the materials and we come up with different uh, recommendations to, to reduce uh, potential hazard issues uh, for the deal, for the real application. That was also very, very important in the life of the, of the project. And also we, we estimate a potential modifications in the functionality. Uh, next, please. So concerning high nano, also uh, they are developing different materials like, like silica nanoparticles, and we identify also uh, different kind of products, uh, um, sulfate modifiers to reduce the, the potential impacts on the toxicity, but also respecting you know the, the functionality. And also they are now working with the scale up of the of the materials to produce in the in the market. And next, please. And also Laurentia, that's a Spanish company, grows to Trigene. We have here a very good uh, example. So they managed to reduce the toxicity by substituting some of the uh, materials that they use in the in the beginning of the of the project as sulfate agents. So they modify these uh, sulfate agents, and now they decrease a lot, you know, the, the potential impact. And of course, uh, we have deal with not reducing the functional part of the of the project so that's very very key and also the next piece and concerning nanovector also they, they are more working in the in the pharma so they have other kind of things so we have here more activities related uh, with exposure in the in the workplace so trying to to manage you know uh, risk management measures in, in different activities and also they they, have, they are very interested in in trying to manage potential cost using the using the tool. And next please. In conclusion, at the end, the important thing here is that uh, using all these case studies, uh, we have learned a lot of things from, from the companies. So what we know at the moment is uh, it is very important to, to consider, you know, reduction of the toxicity, reduction of the exposure, but always uh, we need to know the potential influence on the on the functionality and the cost. So we make a lot of analysis and we come up with an influence diagram. So we have identified critical factors that influence on the functionality or influence in the analysis, in the cost analysis. So at the end, the tool uh, will give you an overview of which parameters uh, will influence your functionality and your cost. And that's critical for your decision making. So that's more or less the final outcome of the project. So we know. Uh, better these uh, parameters and all this now automated in our tool and I think that Ralph uh, will tell you more about this this tool and I hope you to enjoy this presentation from from uh, ThinkWorks because you will see all the approaches that we have implemented. And next please. Just to take home, just to close the, the presentation, I think that we know that there are lack of data, lack of guidelines and all these things. But all these projects, in this case, as we did for now, I think that uh, come up with solutions and tools that will support your company on implementing this big content on Save by Design. So next, please. And finally, I think that uh, you will be able to use the, the tool in, in a couple of months, by March, more or less, and you will have the library of approaches. Also, you will have resources to identify regulation, new guidelines uh, to implement the, the concept. And of course, you are invited to, to follow the project and in the future to, to see next events where we have the opportunity to present our K outputs. So this is the one, I think the, the last one. Uh, next, please, Stella. So just to close, uh, I think that this uh, validation and demonstration will be, will be very clear. Uh, I think that also we will invite you as people that is here uh, to participate in the validation phase of the of the project, but for us it's very important 
that people can test, no, all these kind of tools in the in the life of the project to support us, you know, in improving our, our resource. So I, I think that's the, the last one. So I hope that you, you have enjoyed uh, this big picture of, of the project. Uh, you have here my, my contact, also my, the contact of my colleague Elena. And also thank you for the attention.